guys it's me imad from nelson darwin park tech youtube channel so in this video we will learn about the end circuit ic or end circuit ic package for the tinkercad platform so in order to simulate the end gate within the tinkercad first of all you have to click on create new circuit Okay, now uh, we have our window in front of us, and here we have to write 74 L08. This one is the IC package for NK. So you have to search it manually. If it is not coming inside the search box, you must go and search it manually. So here uh, now these are our dip IC package so we have to look at here you can see that it is written as the quad and gate quad means four and there are four and gate in this IC package it is called as dip because it has pins on both sides and they are the through hole rather than the SMDs like a dual in line purpose like a dip package so we have to click on this IC and then we need to rotate it out for ok so now it is totally ok now we have to do one thing and that is to power this IC and we know that all ICs used to work on standard 5 volts so uh, we have to take our battery that is usually of 9 volts also rotate it out okay and we have our ground we uh, sorry we, we cannot directly connect it with, with the 9 volt so we need to take 7805 78 Zero 05 okay now this is our out so we have to give it the output on the power pin of the 74HC08 sorry it is it is not the okay it is right but okay now we have to click on input and this one Okay, now it's okay. Also, if we need ground, we can connect it with the any of the ground. Like we can directly connect it with the 9 volt ground or this ground because all the grounds must be common. Okay, like this. Simply okay. Now uh, we have to see that where is the output one like uh, output output uh, output one this is our output one and this is our input one a and one b so first two pins are input and the output one is the output so we will attach our led on its output so first we will take our current limiting resistor because we need it in order to be connected with the led because LED cannot tolerate 5 volts at all so it can burn down so so we need a current limiting resistor and one thing kept it in your mind that you can uh, range its value from 100 ohm to 470 ohm easily so here we just attach it with the 100 and we will connect it with the now with the ground okay the ground of the our quad and get package okay now this one so so what about the anode pin of the led uh, it must be connected with that of the output so where is the output we must know that and that is here output one okay now we need to take dip switch like uh, we can take uh, two dip switches 
like this. Okay, and okay, we, we can take these two dip switches. So so these are actually our inputs. Okay, so okay. So so we need to connect these dip switches with that of output of 5 volt like this okay or directly you can uh, 1b okay so directly one side or yeah like this also 1b with the Okay. Okay, now this one A with the uh, Okay, this one and the second input with this one. We can use some common switches as well. Uh, if if someone don't want to use dip switches, still it is okay. Okay, now we will see that either. Okay, so so it is our and gate when when both are high or one one it is high if any of them is low it is low and yes like this and if both are low zero zero then still it is low although one thing more to to tell you that they are just giving it five volt or logic logical one if you want to give it perfect although it is performing well even on even with this setup but if you want to give it perfectly ground so you need to add two resistors to pull down resistors and then have to connect it with the ground but still if it is working fine here I think it's enough for you so hopefully you got the concept and now you know now you can also use the other outputs and inputs as well for as up to your circuit requirements so thanks for visiting our channel